Don't worry. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. 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 Staying uh, for the invocation by Father Renee of Our Lady of Hope Parish. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. Let us bow our heads and close our eyes and invite the presence of God as we ask God to continue to bless us, to continue to guide us committee, our township committee. Graciously, Father, we are gathered here today to do our work, to do what we do best. We want to honor you in all the things that we do, in all the things that we say. Bless our township committee, bless our mayor, bless our chief of police, and bless all those who come in to profess and to bring all these, the things to continue to survive, to continue to make do. Continue to bless our nations, Lord. We mourn those victims of violence, especially in Jacksonville as we recently, in all the difficulties that we see throughout the world, throughout the church, continue to be with us, Lord. Give us the hope that we need as you invite us to follow you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Township Council being held in accordance with the scheduled meetings of the Township Council established and adopted by Township Council, which scheduled designated time to place this meeting. Adequate public notice is being provided pursuant to the provisions of the Open Public Meetings Act. We are using electronic amplifying recording devices in order to obtain a clear and audible record. And we request all those wishing to speak be recognized and state your name and address directly to the microphone. The recording device will be served utilized by the Township Clerk's Office for the preparation of minutes shall be the official record of the Township Council meeting. Madam Clerk, may the roll call, please. Mr. Hutchison? Present. Mr. Owens? Present. Mrs. Stubbs? Present. Mrs. Winters? Mr. Mignon? Here. Mrs. Strada? Here. Mr. Mercado? Present. Mr. Carlemier? Here. Mr. Cardis? Here. Mr. Lechner? Here. Chief Earl? Here. Mr. Chadwell? Here. Madam Clerk, Mrs. Winters has applied to me that she would not be here today. We now have our public portion, first public portion. This shall be for agenda items only. Anyone wishing to speak, please raise your hand. Mr. Paul Doro. Good evening, Council. Ray Paul Doro from the historic village of Ariel. Regarding Ordinance uh, 018-11, that appears to be an expansion of the uh, drug-free zones that would go out past the perimeters of the existing school areas that are now deemed drug-free. Is that correct? Ray, there's going to be a public hearing for that. You want to save it for that? I, I'm just curious as to what it is that you're presenting. I'm not questioning anything other than the details of what it is that you're trying to project here. It is a drug map to include uh, cobblestone. There's a, a playground that's included in there. Little Gloucester Road, where the Family Resource Center is, uh, behind the, uh, or next to the diner, uh, Citizens Appreciation Park and Heritage Park. So it's including parks that we have within our township. Okay, and, and the reason I'm asking that is maybe the thought process, you know, close to township is supposed to be a drug-free zone in general because drugs are basically illegal. Uh, schools, I know that there's a greater penalty phase if you are caught in those drug-free zones. Would this also include the greater penalty phase if these became, become deemed just that drug-free school zones? I believe so, yes. I believe so. The municipalities adopt certain areas now, including parks and playgrounds and schools, as drug-free zones 
enhanced penalties to apply. Okay, so my question would be, in those select areas that you have chosen, um, you, the township basically is majority of township that you guys have labeled in need of redevelopment. So it gave you the flexibility of doing things in various parts of the town, which you're doing here. Um, in small parks, athletic fields, lake areas, and what have you, you uh, passed an ordinance that would prohibit cigarette smoking and tobacco use in those areas. Why not extend this out if you're going to, instead of being selective, why not extend it out? Because what it appears is that it's, and I'm, maybe I'm being a little bit smug in saying so, it's not such a problem with the drugs, but cigarettes, no. If you were to put those same drug-free zones in the same areas as at least no smoking zones, it would extend that area to have those people include. Just as an example, uh, the detectives of this township have come to Lake Renee on several occasions and recovered bags that had uh, expired needles and drug bags and uh, they're not smoking cigarettes but we're finding a great deal of that. Just a thought maybe in extending this out instead of a few select areas, maybe let's expand it out and uh, show how serious the township is about this drug use and their attempt to stop it in all places that we can. That's just my thought. Right, thank thank you. you. Anyone else? Seeing none, we'll put the first call the portion. Proclamation. Whereas mental and substance use disorders affect all communities nationwide, but with community and support, people with these disorders can achieve healthy lifestyles and lead rewarding lives in recovery. And whereas the impact of mental and substance use disorders is apparent in our local community, and whereas managing the effects of mental and substance abuse use disorders can help people achieve healthy lifestyles, both physically and emotionally. And whereas by seeking help, people who experience mental and or substance use disorders can embark on a new path towards improved health and overall awareness. And whereas the focus of National Recovery Month this September is to celebrate their journey with the theme of Join the Voices for Recovery, Invest in Health, Home, Purpose, and Community. And whereas Recovery Month spreads the message that behavioral health is essential to one's overall wellness and that prevention works, treatment is effective and recovery if possible. And whereas through Recovery Month, awareness is raised to assist in recognizing the signs of mental and substance abuse, abuse disorders, which can lead more people into needed treatment. And whereas the Recovery Month observation Observance continues to work to improve the lives of those affected by mental and or substance use disorders by raising awareness and educating communities about the prevention, treatment, and recovery resources that are available. Now, therefore, be it resolved that David R. Mayer, Mayor of the Township of Gloucester, and Orlando Mercado, Council President, hereby proclaim September 2018 as Gloucester Township Recovery Month and call upon our residents to celebrate and support the observance of National Recovery Month. Good report. 2018 Road Improvement Program. I entertain the motion. So moved. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Mr. Strato. On the question, roll call, please. Mr. Hutchison? Yes. Mr. Owens? Yes. Mrs. Stubbs? Yes. Mr. Mignon? Yes. Mrs. Strato? Yes. Mr. Mercado? Yes. Next, we have our ordinances. As a second reading, there will be a public hearing. Ordinance. Uh, 0 18 11 ordinance amending the drug free zone map chapter 46a entitled drug free school zones of the code of the township of Gloucester. Uh, this is amending the code map to include the following uh, Cobblestones Playground, Little Gloucester Roads Family Resource Center, Citizens Appreciation Park in Glendora, North Black Horse Pike, and Heritage Park on 201 Summerdale Road. We'll now open up the public hearing. Seeing none, we'll close the public hearing. I entertain the motion. I'll make that motion. Thank you, Mr. Hutchinson. Thank you, Mr. Stubb. On the question, roll call, please. Mr. Hutchinson? Yes. Mr. Owens? Yes. Mrs. Stubbs? Yes. Mr. Mignon? Yes. Mrs. Trotto? Yes. Mr. Mercado? Yes. Next, we have a resolution to the consent agenda. Any council member would like to remove any of the resolutions, please speak up. I am going to ask to take resolution R1808-242. I would like to table that. 
Second. Thank you. On the question, roll call the table. Mr. Hutchison? Yes. Mr. Owens? Yes. Mrs. Stubbs? Yes. Mr. Mignon? Yes. Mrs. Trotto? Yes. Mr. Mercado? Yes, the table 242. Now I'll accept the motion to uh, accept the consent agenda uh, as amended. So move. Thank you, Mr. Hutchison. Second. Thank you, Mr. Owens. On the question, roll call, please. Mr. Hutchison? Yes. Mr. Owens? Yes. Mrs. Stubbs? Yes. Mr. Mignon? Yes. Mrs. Strada? Yes. Mr. Mercado? Yes. We did not receive any GTE Gov access emails. Now open up the public portion. Anyone wish to speak on any item, please raise your hand. Seeing none, we'll close the public portion. Pulling the directors. Mr. Carlinger? Uh, nothing to report. Mr. Cardis? Uh, nothing to report. Mr. Lechner? Nothing to report. Chief Earl? Nothing to report, thank you. Mr. Chadwell? Nothing to report. Mr. Hutchison? Thank you very much for coming out this evening. Mr. Owens? Thanks for coming out this evening. Uh, thanks to all of our <coughs> first responders. Um, and thank you to the council president and mayor for the uh, proclamation um, regarding the mental uh, health and su the substance um, abuse uh, awareness. Um, it's been a year and one month uh, since I lost my sister um, to mental health. So uh, um, it's important that this gets out in the community and, and folks are talking about it. Uh, you shouldn't be ashamed of a mental health or abuse or, or addiction and substance abuse. So um, thank you guys for, for keeping the awareness out there. Um, and the Community Shred, I know uh, Council President will probably mention it, but uh, Community Shred Day is October uh, 13th, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. at the Public Works Building. Uh, make sure you come on up uh, for that. Uh, Steps. I do also uh, support um, what Scott said about supporting mental illness. After what we've seen uh, happen in Florida and various other places, um, I see no time more important than now to start to open our eyes and to support those who do need help. And I'm not necessarily getting the help that they need. So I do support that and thank everyone for coming out. Mr. Mignon? I thank you all for coming out tonight. Uh, happy Labor Day to all. Happy first day of school to all going to school, and uh, let's all stay cool this week in the hot one. Thank you. Mrs. Strato, thank you all for coming out. Have a great night. Mr. McCartney. Uh Thank you for coming out. If you can please keep uh, in your thoughts and prayers the families of Will Fagan. Uh, he's a rec supervisor in our, um, in our township. His father, William Fagan, passed away this past week. Also a longtime business owner. Uh, and a longtime resident Raymond Piccolo, and also a longtime commissioner uh, of the uh, Gloucester Township NUA, and former employee of the Gloucester Township NUA, Dora Gobert, passed away this week as well. If you can keep, uh, keep those families in your present thoughts, I appreciate it. Uh, the workshop for September will be on a Wednesday because we have Labor Day on 9 2, so 9 4 is our workshop. And if you have an opportunity, the food and beer truck. Festival uh, located in downtown Blackwood it takes place on the 9th of September from 2 to 7. With that, I entertain a motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Have a great evening.